Now let us talk about colloids. Colloids are heterogeneous mixtures but they appear homogeneous. For example, milk. Milk is a colloid. Milk is a mixture of proteins, fats, calcium, vitamins, etc. But when you look at milk, it appears to be one white liquid. It appears so homogeneous, then how can it be heterogeneous? That is because particles of milk are quite visible under microscope. But homogeneous mixtures have particles which are not even visible under microscope. They are so small. That is why milk is a colloid and it is a heterogeneous mixture. Even when we talk about ink, ink is made up of water and different dyes mixed inside water. So ink looks homogeneous but it is a heterogeneous mixture because its particles are not as small as a solution particle. Thus, a colloid is defined as a heterogeneous mixture in which the size of the solute particles is intermediate between those in true solutions and those in suspensions. Thus, the particles in a colloid are dispersed throughout the medium. Now, let us see what are the properties of a colloid. First property says that a colloid is a heterogeneous mixture. The second property says that the particle size in colloid is between 1 nanometer to 100 nanometers. The next property says that colloids are quite stable solutions. Now if we have milk and we keep it undisturbed for some time, will the proteins, fats, vitamins all settle down at the bottom? No they won't. So milk is a stable solution. The next property says that the particles are evenly distributed. If we check milk, the particles in the milk are evenly distributed. So when we see milk, milk has particles which are evenly distributed inside. The next property says that a colloid cannot be separated into its constituents by filtration process. If we have milk and we put it on filter paper, do you think all the proteins, fats and everything will be separated? No. So filtration does not have effect on colloid. The next property says that colloids do show tinder. This property says that colloids, if we project a light beam on a milk glass, do you think the light path will be visible inside? Think the light path will be because the particles in a colloid are a little larger than the solution particles due to which they scatter the beam of light. So tinder effect can be shown by the colloidal particles. Let's concentrate on what is a tinder effect. You can see Tyndall effect in a closed room. In a closed room, if we have a hole, you can see the sunlight coming inside. Can you see the path of the sunlight? Yes, it is quite visible. That is because of the dust particles which scatter that beam of light. Because air is a homogeneous mixture. So only in air, the light path won't be visible because the particles of air are quite small. But because of dust particles, this beam is quite visible. So this is called the Tyndall effect. A colloid is made up of a dispersion phase and dispersion medium. The substance which is present in more amount is the dispersion medium. And the substance that is present in less amount is the dispersion phase. So in milk, water is the dispersion medium. And proteins, fats, calcium, vitamins all are dispersion phases. Depending upon the dispersed phase and the dispersion medium, we have different types of colloids around us. The first type is aerosol. If the dispersed phase is liquid or the dispersed phase is solid and the dispersion medium should be a gas, this is known as aerosol. For example, the clouds, the fog and the mist, they are all aerosols. Because there is always a liquid dispersed in a gas in all the three examples. For example, fog. Fog is nothing but liquid droplets present in air. And solid in gas, for example, smoke and exhaust. The solid that is the carbon particles are dispersed in air, that is the gas. So smoke and exhaust are types of aerosol. The next type of colloid is called a foam where the dispersed phase is a gas 
and the dispersion medium is a liquid. The example is a shaving cream. Here a gas is dispersed in a liquid. So it looks like a foam. And another type of foam is where a gas is dispersed in a solid. Example is a sponge, a rubber or a pumice. Here the solid has pores due to which the air gets filled inside the pores. So a gas is dispersed in a solid. This type is called a foam. The next type is emulsion where the dispersed phase is a liquid and the dispersion medium is also a liquid. The example is milk where the oil droplets are mixed in water. Even face cream is one of the example. Then we have sole. Sole is a type of colloid in which the dispersed phase is a solid and the dispersion medium is a liquid. The example is milk of magnesia. Here magnesium oxide which is a solid is mixed in water that is a liquid and it forms a colloid. So such type of colloid is called sole. Next we have gel. Gel is a type of colloid in which dispersed phase is liquid and dispersed medium is solid. Example is jelly, cheese, butter. They come under this category. In all the three categories, there is a solid. There is a network of solid in which a liquid is dispersed. The next one is solid sole. Now here, the dispersed phase is solid, but the dispersion medium is also solid. The example is gemstones. Gemstones are two colored gemstones which are solid, which are mixed together by liquefying them and then cooling them down. So they are solid and solid type of colloids. So we have aerosol, foam, emulsion, sole, gel and solid sole. 